Hello and welcome to this episode of The Gist. This one we're calling Visa Cards. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And in case you're new here, The Gist is DFCU's vlog uh, where we host guests and talk about several things. Today in particular, like I told you, we're going to be talking about Visa Cards. And with me is their resident expert on the cards. Hello. Hi, Vicky. How are you? I am very well. How are you? Good, good. Could you please introduce yourself? to our guests. Okay, my name is Farida Nadovega and I am the manager card and money transfer at DFCU. So Becky, in 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 brief, mm -hmm. let me just explain to you exactly what my role is in the organization. Mm -hmm. So I'm entailed with ensuring that I'm creating value for our customers more importantly, but also for the organization at large in the world of payments. That's interesting. It sounds very financial. To the layman. <laughs> Break that down. Okay. Like to me, Muntu I and see okay. down there. What 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 does that exactly look like? So we have customers in um, along the different channel, I mean the different um, chain of payments. Mm. Or we have customers who have different needs in the different um, customers that we have chosen to play in as DFCU. So these, these customers all have different needs because you as uh, Becky, you have a different need from myself, sure. from uh, let's say your daughter or from your husband. Sure. So the needs differ from the different customers that we have decided to actually target as DFCU. Mm -hmm. So what my role does really for the organization is that I want to meet your need by creating value for you mm -hmm. at the same time also giving back to the organization that employs me. So it's tailor-made solutions exactly. for me. Yes. I like it. I like okay. it. But now, about Visa cards. Can you tell us how many types of Visa cards are there and what exactly they do? Okay. As DFCU, we offer two major products of cards. So we have the debit cards and then we have the credit cards. And I'll just take you in brief what the two of them um, do. So for the debit card, it's a card that you give to each customer that is going to come and bank with us. For example, in the retail business. Retail means you're talking to a customer individually. Mm. And then um, these customers are going to come in, they have bank money with us, and they want to use that money as and when they will need. So we are actually saying that we're giving customers the opportunity to use our services at any one point. So we'll give you a debit card that we linked to your operational account and then you are able to use that money as and when you want. I'm going to ask a very silly question. Don't laugh. Mm -hmm. Can your debit card be your credit card? Can no. they be the same? No. And that's why I want to break it down for you. Oh. So we've talked about the debit card mm -hmm. and now I'm going to talk about the credit card. Oh. The credit card is different in such a way that the money that we are going to spend off that card is not yours. It's actually for the bank and you're obliged to pay back every month a certain percentage of what you have spent. So I'll break it down further. If Becky, as a DFCU customer, you come to us and you want a credit card, we can give you a card of, let's say, 10 million shillings. This money is for you to spend as and when you want, mm. but you are going to pay us back every month a certain percentage depending on how much you can afford to pay back. Is it renewed monthly? Do you put more 10 million? <laughs> I'm, that, just, that, I'm, imagining, I'm that, just imagining, if this month my credit card has 10 million, a, a spend of 10 million, and I haven't spent it, mm -hmm. do they still top up? that and yeah. give me 10 extra million the following month so it's like 100 million over 10 months no so what happens is that in the back end we will assess and see how much make it does qualify for as mm. a bank so because we are going to be able to give you what uh, something that will be affordable to you we don't really want to break you because we know you have other probably obligations um, out there that you have to spend on so what we will do is that we will give you that 10 million as the limit that we are going to give you for the next five years. You are obliged to pay back a certain percentage and when you pay back, that money is made available for you to use and that's why we call it a revolving limit on the credit. So what is key for us is that the credit card, give it to a customer, but it's upon affordability. Mm. Two, the customer is obliged to pay back a certain percentage of what they have spent in the month and then the customer can use it as and when they want. I have so many questions. <laughs> I know, I know. I have, I have so many questions. My brain is tickled. Asking about 
you said the customer pays back a certain percentage, so you do not pay back all the money you've used. You pay back a certain percentage. But are you expected to pay all of it back eventually? Yes. So that's why we say that we give it to you for the next five years. And in the mm, next five years, sense. you can pay us back either 10% of what you've spent, but it's also key for you to remember that whatever you pay back is then made available for you to use. So if you want to continue accessing more funds on it, just pay, pay, pay back more. Pay on your credit more. card. Yes. yes, exactly. Okay, that makes so much sense. I get it. And you've made it clear that it's not a one-size-fits-all. Your debit card can't do what your credit card can do. They're very different. It can actually do. Your debit card can do what your credit card can do. Exactly. Please explain. Yeah. So if you have your own money, <laughs> yeah. you can use that card to, use, uh, to purchase goods and services on the debit side. Yes. So let me give you an, a scenario. Becky, you have an account with us. Mm -hmm. You come in and we give, give you a debit card. Mm -hmm. That debit card is linked to that account. Mm -hmm. the, the card can only work until when you have money in that card. Whereas for the credit card, it is not your money. It's almost like a buffer that we give to you as an organization. For you to come in, in for example, you've just gotten out of a, a pandemic, you know many of our customers are struggling, and you need that extra funds for you to actually go buy. So what we do is that we give you that extra buffer. In the event you don't have money on your debit card, you can use your credit, credit card. card. Yes. I like it. I like it. I think I get it. Debit is against money that already exists within your account. Exactly. Credit is on money that exists on the card, but you do not have. Exactly. So I it is it. almost for the organization, and you, you can use it as a when you want, mm. but you're obliged to pay, to pay back. back. Exactly. I have understood you So it's properly. a line of credit. I have understood you properly. I get it. Now that you've explained the different cards, and I have understood, hopefully you have as well, uh, <laughs> could you help us understand how one gets access to these cards? How do I, as Becky, now have access to a credit card or a debit card from DFCU? Okay, so I will speak at it from two points, and that will be one, you already have existing customers, mm -hmm. customers who, for example, either have an account with us. In the event you don't have a debit card and you feel uh, you really, uh, you, you, you want to use your account as and when you need it, not necessarily having to walk to the branch to get the money. You can walk into any of our branches countrywide. Mm -hmm. You will get an instant card. So the card is going to be given to you immediately. You just fill in the paperwork and then you get that card. We promise almost 20 minutes to 30 minutes for you to walk out with that and card that is activated. And is there any charge? Do I have to pay anything? Yes. So we uh. charge a small charge for mm. a customer who is coming in to get that card. We will charge you 5,000 or 10,000 shillings when you're getting our blue card. And then when you're getting our, our, blue, our gold card, you will be charged um, 15,000. Oh my God, there's a gold card. Yes, there is it a gold so card. It sounds so bougie. Yes. <laughs> so it's the gold card, the credit card. No, now it actually gets better. With the uh, credit card, we even have the black card, which is called the platinum card. Wow. Yes, yes. So there's this All the blue, gold, black. Exactly. I am aspiring towards the black. Amen. What kind of things can I actually purchase with my credit card? So, as we say, um, DFCU gives a world of possibilities. With your credit card uh, from DFCU, one, you get free access to lounges. So you know you're traveling, you're in between flights or transit, and you need to just have that sleep or some bit of rest. You need a meeting to attend. So we give you access to free lounges um, when you use our platinum credit card. The other thing is that the, the credit cards... Wait, free lounges? Yes. At the airport? Access. Exactly, yes. Uh, I need, how do I get this credit card now? Immediately. Let's just start by opening up an account with us. Thank you. So, also with the credit card, we give slightly higher limits than with the debit card. So, I'll give you an example. You okay. want to travel for a holiday, you want to go with your family, and you want to purchase airline tickets. With your debit card, you might be limited by how much you have, but account. with the credit card, 
you can actually pay for all the three tickets that you have um, you want to book for you can book for your hotel you can book for everything that you really want to do you can buy a new, the latest iphone that is due out this year you can decide <laughs> to buy yourself a, a smart tv a flat screen so it's almost pegged into your day-to-day -day lifestyle mm -hmm. but with higher limits and money that you can pay back at an affordable rate that makes sense. That makes sense. It's the gift that keeps on giving people. But speaking of the gifts that keep on giving, I hear there's still more that can be given. Two or so more things that we can get from these cards or from the services in these cards. Could you cue us in on those ones? So I love this part. You know that everybody loves to be given. And who doesn't yes. want to be part of a promotion with discount that's running? Mm -hmm. So at DFCU, we have, tri we have tried to uh, partner with the right uh, people out on the market to ease our customers' life. Mm. So, for example, we are currently running a partnership with Qatar Airways, offering discounts of up to 12% when you use our, our our cards, both debit and credit card, to purchase for your airline ticket. So, depending on the destination, the rate, the rate, the discount rate will differ, but we are giving you up to 12%. So the other thing that we have running, and that's part of being again of a, with, well, part of um, a big partnership, is Visa has um, has a campaign that is running, and that's a campaign they call Always On, whereby mm. the moment you register your card online at the Visa at the, at the Visa app, you will be able to access discounts at different restaurants. You'll be able to dis get discounts at different lounges. So it's almost a campaign that is running throughout the year. Whereas the one for Qatar is just a specified period of time, mm, but the one for always on is always on. Let me ask, can I use my credit card anywhere in the world? Yes. So the beauty about being part of a big brand like Visa, which is an international card scheme, mm. is that it gives the customer access to own over 200 million outlets out there in the world. So. The, the accessibility is given anywhere you see a visa logo if it's a merchant if it's online if it is um, at an atm you can every access the funds from your card hey you have made life easy yes, have. <laughs> you totally have but now i had you talking about registering online and we all know that when you're transacting online eh? yeah the buffet and only in kampala yeah. they also exist online as well in terms of safety for me as a customer, uh, how's that being worked out by you, for instance, who's uh, bringing this product on the market? So that's true. Um, the more we go digital, the more we see the cyber uh, crime rate also go up. Mm. So it's very important for you as the, as the end user or the customer out there to be mindful of the tips that we send out. So as DFCU, we are passionate ensuring that we keep our customers' money safe and also ensuring that the experience we give out to you there is actually excellent. So what have we done as a bank? One, we have enrolled all our cards, both the debit and credit card, onto a service which we call the 3D Secure Service. Mm. What does this service do? So if you're doing um, using your card, any of the two cards, online, and you're probably um, purchasing something on, um, say, Qatar Airways, where we're just partnering, and you're purchasing a ticket. What is going to happen is that a one-time password is going to be sent onto your phone or your email that you will be required to input into the portal where you're transacting from for you to complete the transaction. So what we're trying to do is that we're trying to empower you as a customer. One, please ensure that you have the right details with us as EFCU so that when you're trying to do that online purchase and that merchant is 3D secure, you will get that one-time password. So the customer has an option of choosing between phone or email, given that sometimes customers are transacting when they are not roaming, so their lines are probably off. So you can then get that one-time password, put it into the portal, and you complete the transaction. The third thing that DFCU is actually doing is that we have a 24-hour dedicated contact center that is readily able to support you. So in the event you have lost your card, you suspect a transaction has probably come through on your SMS, please call us and then we'll be able to block that card so that no more um, fraudulent transactions go off. Go off. I like that. I like that. 
interesting security measures. Well, we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and play something really interesting with Farida. And I know she'll be up for it. <laughs> Stick around. DD Secure Technology makes online payments safer. With this, DFCU Visa contactless debit and credit cards have been upgraded for online payments. A three-step authentication will be required for some transactions, so you can be sure and secure while transacting online. To authenticate purchases made with your DFCU Visa contactless debit and credit card, a unique one-time password will be sent instantly to your registered mobile number or email address. Reach us on customer care at dfcugroup.com for details. Safe, secure, smart. Now that's banking at the speed of you. DFCU, making more possible. DFCU Bank, with pleasure. So welcome back to The Gist. Farid and I are going to play a very, very simple game. <laughs> All you have to do is just give me rapid... I love games. You love games? Yes, That's I a good thing. Games. You're going to like this one. All you have to do is give me rapid answers. It's called rapid fire. So I ask you a question and you give me the first answer that comes to the top of your mind. Don't think it. Just play along. Cool. So Farida, going out over the weekend, would you take card, cash or both? Both. And I'll tell you why. There are places where you go and you will not be able to use your card. Probably you want to tip that waitress or the waiter who was really good. And then someone, the, the security guard guarding your car. Mm. So you will need both. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Two short tips to avoid card debt. One, I'll go with you getting a limit lower than what you qualify for on the credit card so that you can manage, but also paying back on time to avoid any charges, extra charges. Network down, you can't use your DFCU credit or debit card. Where do you turn to? I will turn to our DFCU mobile app because you can pay directly to either a phone number. Then if you don't have money on the app, you can actually own your account. You can get a mobile loan from DFCU, which is instant, and then you can be able to pay your bills. Very dope. <laughs> Most outrageous thing you've bought with your credit card. I'll zero it down to, mm, that's a hard one. Let's see. An airline ticket out with the girls for a weekend and decide did you to pay, pay for the girls as well? No, myself, <laughs> but decide to pay for a holiday with a credit card. Really? Mm. Yes. Interesting. So your date pays for dinner using a visit discount. Would you go out with him again? First date? No. Later on in the relationship? I think that makes good financial sense. So when yes. you have gotten to understand him yes. and his ways. I thought yes. that means he's a man of the world. No. Not on the first day. Use a visa discount. Not on the first day. He's just late. He's dope like that. Not on the first day. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Farida, for hanging out with me it's and for telling lovely. us about this wonderful gift that keeps on giving. Please make sure to watch all the episodes of The Gist from DFCU social media pages. From all of us at DFCU, stay safe. Bye, yay. Bye. We are always advancing to make more possible. Now you can make 24-7 cardless cash deposits into any DFCU account at no cost using our smart ATMs. Switch to banking at the speed of you. For details, WhatsApp 0776-760-760 or call 0800-222-000. DFCU, making more possible.